Hello friends, welcome to Code Slide. In this lesson, we'll see how to use Tailwind CSS in our Timeleaf application using Spring Boot. So Tailwind is, is a Tailwind CSS is a CSS framework that gives utility classes instead of prepaid components. So let's start with our application. What we have seen our application deploying on to Heroku in the last session. We'll come continue with that application before that I want to use the tailwind uh, so I'll be using I'll be using web charts to use the tailwind CSS web charts are nothing but it is used to package the CSS for us um, easy to manage client-side dependencies for JVM based web application so so I'll be using web charts. So I'll include the web charts um, in my dependencies. So just let me search what is the latest version. Looks like latest version is 2.1.2. So in um, I include Tailwind CSS web chart here. So this brings all the Tailwind uh, CSS for us. So that needs to be imported in our template file let me import that template file so i'll just clean up the my template file so here i'll include the css so here i include the css this is a web jar the um, jar location and then if you see that um, it will be in the dependencies i'm just locating the dependencies for the tailwind um, web jar So here is the jar and then uh, let me expand this so that is a um, 212 and then all the distribution and then tailwind min css so min So this is a um, this is a way to include these uh, style sheets uh, for um, Tailwind CSS. So now uh, I'll use the meta in the header. And before that, I want to display a card play layout in my template. And for that, I need uh, to set the model inside my controller class let me do that i'll clean up this model so that i will use some specific model so i have created two con uh, two variables here two attributes majorly one is uh, message and other is description these things these two i want to display using the css uh, tailwind css so let's, i'll go to the um, the template This is my class, and then I use view class empty run flex. class
for the message and description i'll use the for the message So this is the message. And then we'll use format here. Okay. So if you see here, I'm displaying the message um, in a div, and uh, these are the. Um, so we'll explain that in the later lessons. Um, so this is the for formatting my message, which is printed as uh, card layout. So and then and the description this is the description for my card uh, inside the card so i can show that so this is this let me save this controller so i have two attributes message and description and that is printed in that is displayed in my here is a message is displayed in this view and i display the uh, description in the paragraph so let's start let's run this application and see how it goes I'll open the browser, localhost. So here if you see this, uh, this message has come from the, uh, from my controller and this is, the, so if you see the, this is um, use, this is using the uh, Tailwind CSS. Friends, if you see, we have used minified version of Tailwind CSS and if you see how much time let me open the developer tools i'll open the developer tools yeah, reload the application if you see when i reload the application um, the index file is small and then the minified version of tailwind css is around 3 MB which is big for the production builds um, so we need to definitely optimize this for production builds so as part of this we will we should be removing the unused CSS from production will to get maximum performance that we'll see in the how to do how to remove unused CSS from Tailwind CSS in the latest lessons Thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson.